Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is advent day number 10 and for this video I'm going to be telling you all my coloured pencil supplies. So first I'm going to start off with the coloured pencils that I use. So my favourite coloured pencils that I use are the Caran d'Ache Luminance coloured pencils and I have the full 76 set of these. And I love these coloured pencils to do skin tones and for portraits. They're really good and they're wax based which means they've got really soft cores and so they're really good for blending. I also have the Faber-Castell 120 set and I love Faber-Castell polychromos for detailed work because you can get a really fine point to the lead which means that you can have it really sharp to do lots of detail which you can't really get with the Caran d'Ache. The other set of coloured pencils that I have is the Prismacolor pencils and I have the 150 set of these. So I like to use these for my cartoons and some of my fan art. I like to use them for work that I'm not going to sell because they aren't as light fast so the quality isn't as good as the other ones are. Okay, so next I'm going to talk to you about the types of paper I use. So first I like to use the Strathmore Tone Tan Paper. And I like this paper because it's really cheap, it's really inexpensive, and I use this for a lot of my cartoon work and some of my fan arts. And what I really love about this paper is that the cartoons really pop on it because it has that nice tanned look. So the next type of paper that I'm going to tell you about is the paper that I use the most. And I use this paper for all my realistic drawings and most of my colour pencil work. So this is the Strathmore Bristol Vellum Paper paper and it's from the 400 series and this comes in 15 sheets and you just pull it out of the pad and then you can use them separately. So I really like this paper, it's really nice and smooth. The last type of paper that I like to use is the Arches Hot Press Watercolour Paper and I use this when I'm using watercolours as well as the coloured pencils and I like to use this one because it's really thick so when you use watercolours as well it doesn't buckle this paper. This paper is quite expensive though, for the five sheets it was £50, so it comes in about £10 per 22 by 30 inch sheet, which is quite expensive but it is a really good quality paper and it's really good with the coloured pencils as well. If I need to cut down the paper to a specific size, I like to use a metal meter ruler and a Stanley knife and I just line up the ruler along the edge that I want to cut and then I just use that Stanley knife to run along that side to cut the paper up and it's really nice to get a nice straight edge. So once I've cut up the paper, I like to fix the paper down to the desk so that when I'm drawing it doesn't move around and it also gives a really nice white border. So I use the Scotch Magic Tape and what I like about this is that you can buy it in bulk so it comes out a lot cheaper. To do the initial sketch, I like to use a mechanical pencil and I use the Pentel 0.5mm mechanical pencil. What I love about mechanical pencils is that they're a lot more precise and there's a lot less wastage because you don't have to keep sharpening them. So when I do sharpen my coloured pencils, at the moment I'm just using an ordinary sharpener and I like to use a plastic tub to keep all the sharpenings in one place and then after I've done a drawing I can just tip them away. Before I used to use an electric sharpener and I used to use the Derwent one. What I really like about electrical sharpeners is that you can get a much more consistent point and it's a lot easier to sharpen them. When my coloured pencils get a bit too small I like to use something called pencil extenders and I just got these ones from Amazon. They're not any particular brand so what you do is you put the coloured pencil in the top and you just tighten it up and then it's a lot easier to draw with them. And then to remove the coloured pencil you just untighten it and you just pull it out and then you can just put another one in there if you need to. So when you're burnishing with coloured pencils a lot of the time you get little bits come onto your paper so I like to use a big fluffy brush and I just use this to wipe away any bits of coloured pencil dust that got onto my paper when I'm blending by burnishing because they can get in the way and it's a bit annoying if you have lots of little bits of coloured pencil on your paper. The next supply that I like to use is a really handy tool and it's called an etching tool and this is really good if you're drawing fur or if you're drawing hair because it lifts off the top layer of wax you can get some really fine details. So I just bought this one off of Amazon and it was just one of the first ones that I found when I typed in etching tools. When I get to the final stages of a drawing I like to create some little highlights using white gel pens. So I either use the Signo Uniball pen and I like to use this because it's got a finer nib or I use the Jelly Roll white gel pen. Both of these gel pens are really good at getting some nice highlights and I got both of these off Amazon as well. I tend to get a lot of my art supplies off of Amazon, especially little things like these. The final art supply that I like to use is something you've seen me use quite a lot in my recent videos and I like to use markers as an underbase to my drawings. So at the moment I am using the Pro Markers by Winsor & Newton and I like to use these before I put coloured pencils on top. Okay, so those are all the coloured pencil supplies that I am currently using. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want any more and more in detail videos, 
about any of the supplies that I use, let me know in the comments section. If you are new to my channel, I'd love it if you could subscribe so you don't miss out on my future speed drawing videos and all my tutorial videos. Anyway guys, I'll leave links to all my social media sites in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.